Hey guys, we are going to go ahead and go over um, these distance time speed practice problems. So if you have a paper copy, you're going to just be watching the video and filling out your paper copy. But if you are working from home or chose to use the um, on the canvas one, just split screen, please, this document with the video, okay? Alrighty, so we're going to do one in each of these sections. So we have a speed section a time section, and a distance section. So we are going to be solving for all three of those in our distance time speed triangle. I'm going to do one with you per section, and then I'm going to give you the option to continue um, working through these with me and the video, or to peel off and work on them on your own, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Before we even get started calculating, I am going to draw that distance, speed, time, triangle. That is such a good um, representation of the formulas we need to use, okay? So the first section is we're going to be calculating for speed. So we are going to be covering up speed, giving up distance divided by time distance divided by time. So if a car travels 400 meters in 20 seconds, how fast is it going? So my distance is 400 meters and my time is 20 seconds. I'm absolutely putting that in my calculator. My answer is 20 meters per second. So a clue for me, um, if I didn't have the heading of speed right here for me, I could see in my um, problem, my clue, what I'm going to solve for, how fast. So that is speed. Okay, so I'm going to come down to the next section, which is time. I'm going to skip number six. That one's pretty easy. Um, you need to get to two class. 200 meters away and you can only walk in the hallways at about 1.5 meters per second if you ran any faster you'd be caught for running how much time will it take you to get to your class all right so if we draw our distance speed time triangle we're trying to find out time how much time so we are going to cross off time, leaving us with the formula distance divided by speed. All right, so let's plug in our numbers. Our distance is 200 meters and our speed is 1.5. So 200 meters divided by 1.5 meters per second. So I'm going to put that in my calculator and I come up with 133.3. Now this, when I put this in my calculator, I've got a lot more decimals after that, but I'm just going to round it to one decimal place. So I'm ready for my unit. So I can cross off meters from up here and meters from down here, and that leaves me just with seconds. So, that is my unit, and that makes sense because I'm finding time. How much time did it take? 133.3 seconds. All right, let's come down to distance. Let's draw our triangle one more time. Distance, speed, time. Okay, so how far can you get away from your little brother with the squirt gun filled with paint if you can travel at three meters and you have 15 seconds before he sees you. So how far? That's going to be distance. So I know I'm solving for distance, leaving me my formula right there, speed times time. Speed times time. So which one is my speed? Three meters per second. I know that's my speed because it's got two parts to its unit. Times my time, which is 15 seconds. I multiply those two together and I come up with 45. Now I'm ready for my unit. I am able to cross off speed seconds here and seconds here, leaving me with just meters. So how far? 
That makes sense because meters is a distant unit. So my answer is 45 meters. Okay, so if you are comfortable with finding the speed and the time and the distance after doing these three questions, then go ahead and sign off and continue on your own, all right? But if you'd like to continue working through them with me, then continue working through them with me, okay? All right, let's go. So coming back up here to speed. If you move 50 meters in 10 seconds, what is your speed? So I know that speed is distance divided by time. 50 meters is my distance and 10 seconds is my time. So five meters divided by 10 seconds equals five, I have to use both of them because I can't cross either of them off, meters per second. So guys, at any point here, if you wanna pause the video and try to work it out on your own and then start the video again to see if you got it right, please use whatever strategy that works best for you, okay? All right, you arrive in my class 45 seconds after leaving math, which is 90 meters away. How fast did you travel? So it didn't tell us to find the speed, but I know how fast, I know that that's going to be speed, so that's my clue for that particular question that I'm finding speed. All right, so let's identify our numbers. 45 seconds is gonna be my time. 90 meters is going to be my distance. My distance goes on top and my time on the bottom. And I divide that out. 90 divided by 45 is two. Two what? Two meters per second. So that's the speed. A plane travels 395,000 meters in 9,000 seconds. What is its speed? All right, so I'm gonna identify my numbers. So I have my distance on top, so 395,000 meters, and my time, 9,000 seconds on the bottom. Boy, oh boy, am I putting this in the calculator. And after I have rounded my one decimal, I come up with 43.9, what's going to be my units, meters per second. So one last speed one. It takes Serena 0.5 hours to drive to school. Her route is 16 kilometers long. What is Serena's average speed on her drive to school? All right, so let's identify our distance and let's identify our time. So 16 kilometers divided by 0.25 hours. So my distance and my time I'm going to divide that out. So 16 divided by 0 0.25 is 64. 64 what? Got to use both of them. Kilometers per hour. Okay. All right. So we're going to switch gears here. And we are going to be looking at time. How much time will it take for a bug to travel 5 meters across the floor if it is traveling at 1 meter per second? So let's then identify the clue that says we're solving for time. There it is right there. How much time? So with, with uh, finding time, it's going to be distance divided by speed. Distance divided by speed. So what's my distance? Five meters. Um, what's my speed? Whoops, I said that wrong earlier. One meter per second. So five meters divided by one meter per second is five. So I'm gonna get rid of the units that are the same, leaving me just with the seconds. So it takes five seconds for a bug to travel five meters across the floor, traveling at one meter per second. All right. In a competition, an athlete threw a flying disc 193 meters through the air. While in flight, the disc traveled at an average speed of 13 meters per second. How long did the disc remain in, in the air? All right, so if I knew I wasn't trying to find time um, and I only had to look at the clues in the problem, right here, how long? That's going to be my clue indicating I'm trying to find time. So. Uh, my formula is distance divided by speed. Here's my distance, and here's my speed. 
So 139 meters divided by 13 meters per second. I put that in my calculator and what do I come up with after I've rounded things is 10.7. 10.7 what? Well, I'm going to get rid of the meters because they are like and I'm just left with seconds. So that is my answer. And does that make sense for how long did the disc remain in the air? Yep, it does. It remained in the air for 10.7 seconds. All right, so our last thing that we can do is find distance. So how far? That's my clue right away that that's going to be a distance uh, calculation. How far can your little brother get if he can travel at 2.5 meters per second and in five seconds you will discover that his squirt gun has run out of paint. So what is our uh, first thing that we're looking for is speed. So what is our speed? 2.5 meters per second times, what is our time? Five seconds. So I'll put that into my calculator. 12.5 times five is, sorry, 2.5 times five is 12.5. 12.5 what? Well, I'm gonna get rid of these seconds because they're the same meters is what I'm left with. So how far, that's distance. Meters is a distant measurement, so that makes sense. If you shout into the Grand Canyon, your voice travels at the speed of sound, 340 meters per second, to the bottom of the canyon and back, and you hear an echo. How deep is the Grand Canyon at a spot where you can hear your echo 5.2 seconds after you shout? Okay. So we're going to identify how we know that this is distance. Well, how deep? That's gonna be distance. Okay, so we know that we have to have speed times time. So here is my speed, 340 meters per second times my time, which is 5.2 seconds. Gonna put that in my calculator for sure. 1,768. Um, now I'm ready for my units. I have seconds here, gonna cross that off. Seconds here, gonna cross that off, leading me just with meters. And that's my final answer. Okay, now, are you ready to tackle this challenge problem? All right, let's check this out. Amy and Bill and Amy went, want to ride their bikes from their neighborhood to school, which is 14.4 kilometers away. It takes Amy 40 minutes to arrive at school. Bill arrives 60 minutes after Amy. How much faster in meters per second is Amy's average speed for the entire trip? All right, so... What makes this challenging right off the bat is that we are gonna be having to do some metric conversions because the information that's given to us is in kilometers and minutes, but they want the answer to be in meters per second. So right off the bat, we're gonna to have to convert these. All right, so we are gonna convert to meters per second first, okay? All right, so let's take a look at what's going on with Amy. Amy is, we are going to be finding speed, so it's distance divided by time. Her distance is 14.4 kilometers, and her time is 40 minutes. Okay, so let's verify that. Let's switch this to blue. So she's, the distance is 14.4 kilometers and it takes Amy 40 minutes, okay? All right, but we have to convert this to meters and seconds. So a little tip here. So just to remind you, one kilometer equals 1,000 meters, because kilo means a thousand. 
and one minute, you probably know this one, equals 60 seconds, okay? So to convert kilometers to um, meters, so kilometers to meters, we're gonna have to multiply this number by 1,000. And we come up with 1,000, well, 14,400, can I can give myself enough space here, sorry, meters. Now, what am I gonna have to do to get to seconds, from minutes to seconds? I'm gonna have to multiply that by 60. So 40 times 60 is 2,400 seconds. So when I divide that out, 14,400 divided by 2,400, in my calculator, I come up with six. Six what? Meters per second. And that's good because that is what I need to record this in. Okay, so that's Amy. So let's figure out what is happening with Bill. Bill is leaving from the same place. So his distance is going to be the same, okay? But his time is not. He arrives 20 minutes after Amy. If it took Amy 40 minutes, then it's going to take Bill 60 minutes to get there, okay? 60 minutes, because he arrived 20 minutes later. So once again, we have got to convert this to meters per second. So we already know that this is 14,400 meters, and we are going to multiply this 60 times 60 to come up with 3,600 seconds. All right, we're gonna put that in our calculator, and what do we come up with is four meters per second, okay? So let's stop and look at that for a second. So we have the speed of both Amy and Bill in meters per second, like the question asked us, after we did some metric conversions. But that's not what the question, that's not where we have to stop. How much faster is Amy's average speed for the entire trip? All right, so that's a, just a simple subtraction problem. So here was Amy right here, and here was Bill right here. So this was Amy, and this was Bill's time. So how much faster is she? Two meters per second. So Amy is two meters per second faster than Bill. Okay. So I'll give you a second here to get all of that written in. You had to do a couple of extra steps in here, didn't you, to figure out this problem. But you guys have it. Um, I will talk with you soon.